I'm packed and I am ready to go. Um, turns out I will have a place to sleep inside, so I'm not gonna sleep in the tent. And that's kind of sad. But, you know, I'm sure it's gonna be absolutely fine to sleep inside as I am going to be outside for the entire day, hopefully. So I think it's gonna be super duper. Hello. <laughs> Y'all, this is a big pack pack, isn't it? But it's perfect and it has really good support. So I think I'm good. And I looked for ages for this backpack because I'm not that tall. And most backpacks are for tall people. So screw that, I got mine anyway. We are here. And this is where I'm gonna spend my next week. And I'm very happy about it. Very, very happy. <laughs> and my tooth doesn't even hurt anymore which I mean obviously it doesn't hurt anymore because it's not the tooth that hurts anymore it's my jaw but because the tooth is out but it doesn't hurt <laughs> and we spend seven hours in a car but we're here and it's beautiful can you see this beautiful botanist botanist Baptist and the boss and goats <laughs> many goats <laughs> see he has 25 years of experience and I think she has a lot too and then him he's a professor I think in botany and then there's me and all this. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> so far, it's been a very good day. And now it's 3 o'clock. And we're still going strong. And I'm kind of out of breath because I just ran up a hill. But this is what it looks like before we get to work. And we have uh, put up these poles to show where our transect is. And this is the... <laughs> I don't know, square where we uh, note every plant we have and every kind of moss as well. First day of field work is over and it was so much fun and I learned so many new plants and it was oh, it was great. I mean we had the most amazing view and we saw like a Scottish Highland ox and it was there throughout the entire day almost and there were horses and and there were goats all of a sudden this single line of goats appeared and they came closer and closer but after a while they turned around and went home though but it was it was an awesome experience it really was, and the weather was super nice, and and uh, I don't know, I I really enjoyed it, and I think like for every minute I kept thinking this is what I want to do for a living, and I love that feeling, that certainty, that I don't know that that spark. It's it's a privilege to be able to feel that because I know that not a lot of people find that in a career so of course some people have to find a way of feeling that way outside of work and that's just the way life works but for me being able to make money and make a living of something that I absolutely love doing that is I'm so lucky I'm so incredibly lucky well I don't make money of it yet because I am here voluntarily so I don't get paid but all of my expenses are covered so I'm not paying for anything so it's kind of free vacation and uh, that's perfect because I've never been to some uh, Fjordane before and I've never been to Telemark so it's perfect and honestly if I were to go here on my own I guess 
the thing I would prioritize to do would be to go out in the forest and look at the plants and hopefully uh, have bring a person with me that could explain to me what the plants that I didn't know already was. So this is perfect. This is a vacation I would spend a lot of money to be on and I'm, I'm getting it for free. It's it's been a really good day and I'm already looking forward to tomorrow although it's gonna rain and I do not know how much uh, rain my coat can take before I'm gonna get wet through but I have a wooden sweater I'm gonna wear underneath and I mean it's only a day and I'm gonna learn much tomorrow so it's all gonna be super fine and Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Office of the day. With a bench. All the things. And this is my area right now. Which is challenging because that's the angle of the ground, as you can see. And that's the angle of me. <laughs> it's been raining. For a long time now, um, but it's not raining that much, really. So I'm still dry inside my clothes, and I'm warm, and I'm learning, and it's a very relaxing. It's a very relaxing day. It is. Uh, although I mean. I wouldn't be angry if the rain stopped, <laughs> but we'll see. This is a Mnemosyne butterfly. It only eats Corydales intermedia as a larvae, and that is a plant that only grows on areas that are really um, often, like more often than not, there's an avalanche or stones tumbling down the field. Those fields are not super common, but uh, they also used to grow on fields where where they strike the grass down to feed to uh, well sheep and goats and horses and everything like that but those fields are increased like decreasingly normal here in Norway uh, so as the plants um, habitats get rarer the plant gets rarer and the butterfly is not as common as it used to be either so it's really special to find that and it only lives in three places in Norway now look at this awesome little guy does anyone know what it is? why is it here? what does it eat? who are you? second day of field work is done we went out about uh, 9 and we're, we were done about 7 I think and it was It was actually a tiring day because it was so wet and it kept raining and the grass was all wet so when you have to like scramble through it to see uh, if there's any moss underneath or if there's any strains of grass you haven't seen yet then you get completely wet on your fingers and it was quite cold so you got wet and cold and you got like raisin skin and it was it was challenging to keep keep your spirits high but it was it was a day and I finished my first my first first um, like squares on my own which was awesome I managed to do three of them today and I'm very pleased with myself This view, sunshine, and videos. <laughs> I am in paradise right now. Now somebody's watching me. Right. Like, how do I tell a botanist with the 25 years of experience that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just like vlogging this because I find myself so important? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Days are just pouring into each other over here 
it's I don't even know what day it is today I honestly don't know <laughs> it's and I don't even notice when one day turns into another because there's only like what feels like a few minutes of sleep until it's the next day but I do love it I do and today it was really nice weather weather and there were butterflies and bumblebees all over the place and I just sat there like analyzing my my plot and there was a butterfly that came so close to me that it gave me an actual butterfly kiss <laughs> it was amazing i was like oh no nature loves me <laughs> just kidding it doesn't um because every plot when i'm when i'm done with it it looks destroyed because girls gotta do what girls gotta do <laughs> so I, I kind of just have to lay flat as I already have analyzed that area, so I don't confuse it and and skip skip like plants and um, because I if I didn't do that, a lot of mosses would go just completely unnoticed. And today I took some of the earth samplings myself, and it's starting to look like uh, we are doing some uh, seriously. Um, illegal business because all of these have to dry so in each and every one of them are soil from different plots so yeah there's many now and there's gonna be more <laughs> a lot more uh, we didn't even walk far today tomorrow we're gonna walk like pretty high up so that's gonna be challenging but I'm up for the challenge, you know, you know, I'm up for it. I'm enjoying myself and I'm extra and uh, hyper today because I got like a full eight hours of sleep, which was amazing because I was starting to get pretty tired and I got a headache yesterday because the light here is just too bright for me, but today I wore sunglasses for like almost the entire day so that was super helpful and now I feel fine and I'm gonna go over to the other hut where um where uh, over to the other hut where um uh, our two remaining botanists live and learn about moss fun times one of the botanists he's a professor in botany and he basically had a lecture on moss for us and it was the most useful thing I've had in years <laughs> and it was really really nice because I was able to take notes during it and that is so helpful tomorrow um, when I go out to take a new plot I could just check my notes if I if I wonder what a moss is and some plants that I've been uncertain about today that I brought here uh, they all turned out to be exactly what I thought they were, so that's a major self-esteem boost. Uh, and he also said that one of my plots, he, uh, I wasn't able to finish it before the day was well over. Uh, so he did it today, and he checked like uh, every part that I already took, just to be sure and to see the quality of my work. And he said that it was far better than what anyone could expect from a person doing this for the first time so oh that's amazing i'm so proud i'm so incredibly proud and that i was just that i was able to learn so fast and do work that they didn't even expect from me um oh. I really love doing this, so the fact that I'm good at it is I don't have words. This is the first time and I haven't done any major screw ups. I'm gonna think about this until I fall asleep tonight. Good night.